Today, I put LeBron, Jordan, and Kobe in the 2024 NBA Draft, and we're gonna watch them battle it out as we simulate their NBA careers. Also, I do want to note that the real-life LeBron has retired from the league, so there won't be two LeBrons in the NBA or anything. And now, we can get this video started. We gotta begin with the Draft Lottery. The top three picks this year are going to be super important, because whoever is in the top three will have a chance at LeBron, Kobe, or Jordan and it looks like the Sacramento Kings are going to land the number one overall pick the Wizards are picking it two, and the Rockets will be selecting at three Sacramento's a good team I don't know how they ended up with the number one overall pick they must have got pretty lucky but let's jump into this draft with the first overall pick in the 2024 NBA draft the Sacramento Kings select LeBron James King James goes to the Kings second overall the Washington Wizards are going to select Michael Jordan so MJ restarts his NBA career where he retired in Washington at third overall the Houston Rockets are going to select Kobe Bryant Bryant joins a young up-and-coming Houston team checking out the rosters headed into season number one the Houston Rockets have too many shooting guards and since Kobe Bryant is 6'6 and a great athlete I think he's capable of playing the small forward for now that will allow him to be a starter in the first season of his NBA career moving over to Washington Michael Jordan is an 85 overall and the best player on the team He's going to have his hands full trying to carry a pretty sorry wizard squad. And I think that LeBron James was drafted into the best situation. He's going to be playing alongside Keegan Murray, De'Aaron Fox, and DeMontis Sabonis. Kobe's Rockets are also pretty good, but LeBron's playing alongside two star caliber players. And as for Michael Jordan, good luck, man. It's going to be rough in year one. Now that we've checked out the teams, let's head into LeBron, Kobe, and Jordan's rookie season. Season number one is wrapped. Jokic wins MVP. I'm interested to see who wins Rookie of the Year. It's gonna be MJ. Averaging 25 points, four boards, and five assists. He also averaged two steals and a block. The efficiency was incredible for Mike as well. Jordan was also named to All-NBA third team. None of our other guys were named to All-NBA, so Mike's off to a hot start in this video. He also made All-Defensive first team. LeBron made All-Defensive second unfortunately for MJ though his Wizards missed out on the playoffs. I can't say the same for Kobe's Rockets they were in the playoffs as Kobe averaged 16 points two boards and four assists tonight on great efficiency especially for a rookie and then heading over to Sacramento the Kings won 51 games as LeBron averaged 25 and 5 and also two steals and two blocks so while Michael Jordan had the best individual numbers both Kobe and LeBron LeBron had more team success. Oh, Mike was in the play and I didn't even notice that, but they ended up missing out on the playoffs. Mike dropped 31. They're going to need to get MJ some help over in Washington. In the meantime, though, let's check in on Kobe Bryant and LeBron James. In round number one, LeBron and the Kings are going to be taking on the Dallas Mavericks with Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving. As for the Houston Rockets, they're going to be taking on the T-Wolves with Ant, Cat, and Gobert. And it looks like both of our guys are poised to advance. The Kings are up 3-1. The Rockets are up 3-1 as well. And they're both going to win in six. Congrats to Bron and Kobe making it to the second round in their first season. Now, Kobe's going to have a tough task of trying to beat the MVP, Nikola Jokic, and the Denver Nuggets in the second round. As for LeBron, he's got it a little bit easier. He's going to be taking on the eight seed of Blazers. This team is definitely beatable if you're Sacramento. The Kings just swept the Blazers. Meanwhile, Kobe's headed into a big game five. The Rockets are all tied up with the Denver Nuggets here. And unfortunately, Houston is going to get absolutely cooked in game five. 26 from Kobe is not going to be enough as the Joker has a triple-double 
and now Bryant is facing elimination headed into game six. And it looks like Kobe's Rockets are gonna lose. They made it close in the final few seconds. I didn't expect them to come back. That's why I didn't jump in. Bryant had 12 points in this one. Overall though, Kobe was not afraid of the bright lights. Over 20 points per game in his playoff debut. And Nikola Jokic, he's just Jokic, man. It's gonna be tough to take him down if you're the Houston Rockets. And ultimately they ended up losing in six games. So now LeBron is going to have a chance to beat the team that took down Kobe Bryant in the second round. Good luck, Bron. It's going to be tough stopping the Joker. Game one will go to the Nuggets. Kings win game two. Nuggets win game three and four. But the Kings will win game five. Let's see if they can win game six and make things interesting here. They will. LeBron James looking to make a three to one comeback in his rookie season against the MVP Jokic and the Denver Nuggets. But unfortunately, James and the Kings will fall short in Game 7. Sabonis, a triple-double. Braun with 20. And overall, James did pretty similar things to what he did in the regular season in the playoffs. He was solid for Sacramento. But the Joker came through with another Joker-type performance. And he's moving on to the NBA Finals where he'll win a championship. I would say the Kobe and Braun got off to solid starts to their NBA careers, though. As for Mike, like I've been saying, the Wizards just... Just need to get him some help. Headed into year two, LeBron is up to an 88. Kobe is also up to an 88. And Mike is already up to a 90. What's up, everybody? Editor Danny here. I want to add a quick note. Michael Jordan just wasn't aging for some reason early on in this simulation. And I didn't notice it for a couple years. I did eventually correct it. But I just wanted to tell you guys that so you weren't confused while you were watching the video. Anyways, let's get back to the video. Unfortunately for MJ, though, his second best player is Kyle Kuzma. Meanwhile, the Rockets supporting cast looks nice. Oh, the Rockets lost Jalen Green though. That's gonna hurt. I'm still gonna keep Kobe at the three because that seems to make the most sense right now. But losing Jalen Green for the Rockets is probably gonna hurt. Over in Sacramento, their team looks pretty solid as well. In year number one, we saw LeBron almost make the NBA Finals. Let's see if any of our guys can make it to the Finals in season number two. Year two is wrapped. Luka went the MVP award this time and LeBron James is taking home an award this year most improved averaging 24 points eight boards and six assists also two steals and two blocks elite stuff from LeBron in year two James was even named to all NBA first team and we did not see Jordan or Kobe make all NBA at all although MJ did make all defensive first team alongside LeBron and Jordan's numbers were pretty similar to his rookie year numbers he did shoot better from the field though and Kobe Bryant didn't make all NBA or all defense this year over in Houston Bryant's Rockets won 49 games and Kobe definitely took a pretty big year two leap I wouldn't be surprised to see him on all NBA in year three over in Washington the Wizards won 42 games making them a play-in team and the Kings won 56 games they're the two seed in the West let's see if MJ can punch his ticket to the playoffs for the first time no he lost the Wizards were the 8th seed too and they still ended up getting beat. So now we're just going to be tuning into LeBron and Kobe's teams in the playoffs. Sacramento is going to be taking on the 7 seeded Pels. And the Rockets are going to be taking on the Mavs in a battle of Texas. Why is Kobe not starting for the Rockets? I'm going to move Kobe to the two, I guess. That way they throw him in the starting lineup. I don't know what's going on for this team. There we go. Now Kobe's starting. 2K just bugs out sometimes, man. Early on, the Rockets are struggling. They're down 3-0. They get swept by the Mavs. And it looks like LeBron's Kings are poised to move on. They end up beating the Pels in five. So now we've got a Kings versus Mavericks matchup in round two. LeBron's going to have his hands full with Luka and Kyrie. Game one will go to the Kings. Mavs win game two and three and four it looks like dallas is on a mission this year they end up beating sacramento in five lebron james only had 10 points in game five overall his numbers were down in the nba playoffs as for kobe bryant he only played four games in these playoffs but he put up pretty similar numbers to the regular season and the thunder went on to win the chip so the mavs after beating kobe and bron lose in the conference finals 
As we head into season number three, LeBron James is up to a 92 for the Kings, and he's going to need to be great this year because Sacramento lost De'Aaron Fox in free agency. Meanwhile, over in Houston, Kobe Bryant is up to a 92 overall, and Mike is up to a 94 for the Wizards. Washington still hasn't gotten him too much help. They do have Zach Eady now, the 7'4 big man who was making a lot of noise during March Madness. I guess the team is steadily coming together for the Wizards, but I feel like they need to get a second star next to Michael Jordan. Season is wrapped. Tyrese Halliburton wins the MVP. No awards for any of our guys this year, but LeBron does make all NBA first team for the second season in a row. His scoring went up a lot this year as he averaged 28 points, eight rebounds, and seven assists. He also added two steals and two blocks a night. Michael Jordan was on all NBA second team as he averaged pretty similar numbers to last year and no all NBA for our guy Kobe Bryant just yet. Bron and Jordan were on all defensive first team but unfortunately for Mike his Wizards are just bad. They won 34 games. The Kings were bad in the absence of D Fox. They won 36 games and Houston also won 36 games but I guess they had the tiebreaker over the Kings as Kobe Bryant will be in the play in tournament. Kobe averaged 23 a night this year but overall it was a down season for our guys I mean only one of our players is in the postseason at all and it's Kobe who's in the play-in as a 10 seed he's not even gonna make the playoffs we're talking about three of the greatest players ever these guys have to be better man well it looks like Kobe's gonna get some help after missing the playoffs. as you can see both Trey Johnson and Jaleel Bathia are up to 83 overalls but there's a big problem in Houston there's just way too many guards on this team particularly particularly shooting guards. So we got to move some things around. Jaleel Bathia only goes down one overall at the PG, so I'm going to have him play point guard. And, and then Amen Thompson at 6'7", stays at an 89 at the small forward spot, so I'm going to have him play small forward. And that should help out the Rockets a little bit. Checking out the Wizards. They finally got Mike some help. They signed Jamal Murray. That's a big pickup. Get another good scorer alongside MJ. And over in Sacramento, they didn't get anybody to replace D Fox. They got Ben Simmons to replace him. It might be another rough year for LeBron's Kings. Another season in the books. Wembenyama wins MVP this year. And LeBron James won Clutch Player of the Year, averaging 29 points, 8 rebounds, and 7 assists. James was on first team for what, the third year in a row? Mike ended up making All NBA second team. He took a pretty big leap in scoring, averaging about 20. 28 a night this year and still no all NBA for Kobe Bryant Mike and Brom were on all defensive as usual no all defense for Kobe either the good news for Kobe is his Rockets were playing some good basketball Kobe averaged about 21 a night this season as the Rockets won 52 games the Wizards they were bad once again winning 37 games and missing out on the play in tournament and bronze Kings are going to be in the play in this year the Kings are the eighth seed in the play in tournament so they just got to win one out of two games and they'll have a playoff spot and they're gonna get it they'll be taking on the Oklahoma City Thunder in the first round meanwhile Kobe and the Rockets will be taking on Denver good luck that's a tough matchup Kobe and the Rockets lost in five but LeBron and the Kings are kind of cooking against OKC they're up three to one early they beat the Thunder in five hold on Sacramento they might have some momentum here they're moving on to round two against the Utah Jazz. Game one goes to the Kings. They also win game two. Hold on, Bron. Is he about to lead an eight seed to the finals? They're going to be taking on the seven seed in Mavs in the conference finals here. The Mavs have Alexander Saar. Oh man, it might be over. They've still got Luka and Kyrie too. If Bron does this, it'll be incredible. If he somehow manages this win, I'll be shocked. We're tied up at two apiece after four games here. We got to jump in the Simcast for game five. Also, real quick, if you're enjoying the video so far, I'd really appreciate appreciate if you consider subscribing we're trying to hit 40k and it looks like we've got a close one we got to jump in a minute 30 to go here kings are up by three sacramento also has possession of the ball lebron's gonna give it in to terry rozier rozier 
is defended by D'Angelo Russell. It's going to go over to Monk. Monk to the basket, and he's fouled. Good take from Malik. Malik, first free throw is good. Second one for Monk is also good, giving us a five-point lead. Now Doncic is bringing it up for Dallas. We got to be scared because y'all know Luka can do some crazy things in the clutch. It's going to go over to Kyrie. Irving is also known to be clutch. He goes to the basket, and he's rejected. DeMontis Sabonis will secure the rebound. Now the ball goes to Monk. Monk over to James. LeBron barreling his way to the basket, misses the layup, and it's rebounded by the Mavs. It's going to go up to Luka Doncic. Doncic is defended by Rozier. I don't like this matchup. Doncic has a size advantage. He might just go to work here. Luka going to spin. He steps back, pulls a mid-range, and knocks it down. That is bag work from Luka. Man, I don't care if my battery's low right now. I'll plug it in in a second. LeBron James has the ball for the Sacramento Kings. He's working his way to the red. Oh my gosh, bro. Bron, you just kind of got cooked there. I can't lie. The Kings will regain possession of the basketball, but what a block from mystery. The Mavs big man. Look at the replay bro he sent that thing flying if you're dallas you do not want to foul here you need a stop about 34 seconds to go only 10 seconds left on the shot clock terry rozier bringing up the ball Doncic defending not much time left for sacramento to get a shot off it goes down to james james puts up a floater misses here's the mavs chance they call timeout they can tie it up with the three ball here mystery gonna give it into sar sar finds Doncic. Doncic gonna fake he has some room from three and he'll miss it oh we got bailed there i thought for sure luca was about to knock it down now we just need some free throws from lebron james to expand our lead first one for james is good second one for lebron is also good giving us a five point lead here as long as we don't let up a three we should be good and we'll walk away with a game five win and a three to two series lead mystery is inbounding he's gonna give it into Doncic Doncic defended by Rozier here he's gonna go to work Luka out to Kyrie Kyrie over to Salmon who pulls and knocks it down you've got to be kidding me man and now Terry Rozier is going to the line for the Kings all right scary Terry we need two beauties first one is good second one for Terry is also good oh Terry two beauties y'all remember the Hornets announcer man we're sitting on a four-point lead don't let up another three please guys it's gonna go into Sanin. Sanin pulls the three and oh my gosh does this dude have a zen Jason Sanin. he's averaging nine points per game he's three of five from three in this game but he turned on the zen in the clutch DeMontis a bonus gives it into Rosier. all right Terry we need two more beauties I mean even if he hits these though the Mavs will still have a chance to send this game to OT first one for Terry is good second one for Rozier is also good no timeouts left for Dallas they need to advance the ball quickly Doncic just gonna throw it up and he misses thank goodness man I'm happy the 2k CPU isn't smart enough to I don't know try and throw a mean outlet pass into a three ball or something they kind of just walk the ball up the floor and then miss a shot LeBron with 26 points in this game and now we just need one more win to advance to the finals as an eight seed this has been a great run for lebron james and it looks like james might just walk away with a win in game six yep the kings are moving on to the finals not a great game from Bron here in game six, but it got the job done. And in the finals, LeBron's going to be taking on the Raptors. Y'all know about LeBron, so this should be a Kings win. Game one of the series will go to the Raptors. Raptors win game two. Okay, never mind. I'm sorry, Toronto. The Kings will win game four and game five. No way Bron comes back down 3-0. Hold on, man. Sacramento's kind of in this game six. It looks like it's going to get interesting here. In the final seconds, 32 seconds remaining here. Kings have possession of the ball. They can force game seven and, and keep their hopes of a 3-0 comeback alive. Now, LeBron is not in the game right now. He had 33 points in this one. He isn't fouled out. I don't know why he isn't checked in. In the meantime, the ball is going to go to Sabonis. Sabonis gets the screen from Murray. DeMontis Sabonis standing on the three-point line, working his way to the basket, puts up a tough shot and misses it. It's rebounded by a Pirtle and the Raptors will have a chance to hold for the last shot. Now LeBron is checked in for Sacramento, which is big. They're gonna need
need him for defense. Jakob Pertl gives it into RJ Barrett. Barrett is defended by James and he's going to watch the clock wind down for a couple seconds here before he makes his move. He wants to waste some time, but now Barrett's got to do something. He gets the screen from Pertl. RJ going to swing it over to Jakob. Jakob shoots the mid-range and misses. We're headed to overtime. And with nine seconds remaining in OT, the Kings are up by four. LeBron can close it out at the foul line. First one is good. Second one for James is also good. And that should do it. Sacramento is going to force game seven behind 37 from LeBron James. What a storyline this has been. An eight-seeded team makes it to the finals, goes down 3-0, but doesn't quit. And now we've got a game seven. Early on in game seven the Raptors have the lead the Kings are trying to fight back they're in the rear view mirror but they're kind of fading away never mind the Kings are gonna make a run late in this game to keep it close a minute 17 remaining Sacramento is down by a point they have possession of the ball on the Toronto Raptors home floor LeBron James can send the Raptors fans home crying James go into the basket and he's gonna get fouled LeBron's first free throw is up and it's in. Second one for James is off. Come on, La free throw. We are all tied up here. Scotty Barnes bringing it up. He swings it over to Prosper. Prosper is defended by Rozier. He's going to swing it out to Barrett. RJ fakes, gives it back to Prosper. Prosper is going to get the screen from Jakob Pertl. Not much time left on the shot clock. It goes down to Pertl in the post. Pertl out to Barrett. Barrett's going to have to shoot it. He pulls a midi and he'll miss it. King secure the rebound ball goes to Terry Rozier Rozier bringing it up here he's defended by Prosper let's see if scary Terry can get a bucket he's gonna get the screen from Johnson Terry swings it to Monk Monk open for three and he misses Raptors will secure the rebound Scotty Barnes bringing it up Barnes gives it to Colin Sexton Sexton gets the screen from Pirtle now it goes down to Prosper Prosper fakes he's kind of stuck there he swings it to Sexton Sexton over to Barrett now it goes to Barnes about five seconds remaining on the shot clock Barnes finds Prosper wide open and he knocks down a huge mid-range shot to give the Raptors a two-point lead less than 12 seconds remaining here oh man LeBron it all comes down to this the Kings have been fighting throughout these entire playoffs but it could all go to waste if they don't get a bucket here LeBron James is defended by Barrett James is gonna get the screen from Sabonis LeBron is kind of stuck swings it to Sabonis now it goes to Terry for three and scary Terry shot goes out it was rolling around the rim you've gotta be kidding me it looked like that shot was halfway in look at that man the ball was literally in the rim oh my goodness what a heartbreaker for the Sacramento Kings and the Toronto Raptors are named NBA champions. The Kings didn't get their storybook ending to their eight seed Cinderella run. LeBron won finals MVP in the loss. I kind of skipped by it too fast, but Bron did win that award. First player to do that since Jerry West. But at this point, we're headed into season number five for these guys and all of them are ringless. The Kings are getting worse with Rozier and Sabonis getting older. The Rockets are only getting better. They've got so much young talent. And the Wizards, they're also getting a little bit better too. So it looks like the future's bright in Washington and Houston. But the Kings might have just wasted one of their best chances at winning a chip with LeBron James. Another season in the books, Wemben Yama wins MVP. LeBron James wins Defensive Player of the Year. And Michael Jordan wins Clutch Player of the Year. LeBron was on first team Mike was on second team and still no all NBA for Kobe this year the Kings won 37 games making it into the playoffs as the NBA had a rule change removing the NBA play in tournament and also changing it to where conferences don't matter for playoff standings I think I'm gonna change that rule back though because this playoff tree is kind of stupid it confuses me in the meantime though we're gonna have to put up with it for one playoffs Sacramento 
Sacramento is the 16th seed with 37 wins. The Rockets are the 13th seed with 46 wins. And the Wizards are the three seed with 49 wins. Let's jump into these NBA playoffs. The Kings lost in five. The Rockets lost in six. And the Wizards are headed to a game seven. All right, Mike, let's see what you got. Is this MJ's first time in the NBA playoffs? I think it might be. I know for sure it's his first game seven. And it looks like his Wizards are going to get out of there with the win. Zach Eady with 24 points. Next, next up, the Wizards will be taking on the Spurs led by MVP Wemby. Yeah, this one's going to be tough. The Wizards are up 2-1 to one early. They're up 3-1. The Spurs will win game five, but the Wizards beat them in six. All right, Mike. Next up, they're taking on the reigning champion Raptors who beat LeBron last year. Game one of the series will go to Toronto. Wizards win game two and three and four. Uh-oh, MJ might just make the finals. It looks like Washington is here. They're going to be taking on the Pels. They have Cooper Flag now, but the Pels, do they still have Zion? Yes, but they're making Z come off the bench. Yeah, because that makes sense, 2K. Game number one of the series will go to Washington. Pels win game two. Wizards win game three. And the Pelicans win game four. So we're all tied up, headed into game five. Oh, man. Mike's going to lose the big game five despite dropping 38. He's trying his best to lead the Wizards. But now they're going to be facing elimination in game six. And it looks like Mike and the Washington Wizards are going to go down in game six. They got absolutely destroyed by the New Orleans Pelicans as Cooper Flag wins finals MVP. A good playoff effort from Mike, but it's not going to be enough. And I'm going to change back the playoffs to how they were before. And then I'm going to get rid of rule changes because I don't want anything else changing in this league. Kobe, LeBron, and Mike are all headed into year six of their NBA careers. And they are all ringless. Time to lock in, guys. Season is wrapped. Victor Wembanyama, another MVP. LeBron James wins Defensive Player of the Year for the Sacramento Kings once again, and Kobe Bryant wins Clutch Player of the Year, averaging about 22 a night. LeBron was on All-NBA first team, Mike made second team, averaging about 24 a game, and still no All-NBA for Kobe, man, come on. Kobe's Rockets were solid once again, though, winning 50 games. But the Wizards were the star of the show this season. Michael Jordan's team won 63 games. And LeBron's Kings won 44 games. Let's jump into these NBA playoffs. In round number one, the Wizards will take care of the Nets in five. But Kobe and Bron are both headed to game sevens. The Rockets will be taking on the Thunder. This is going to be a tough matchup for Kobe. And the Kings are going to be taking on Utah. Bro, I accidentally skipped right by this Rockets versus Thunder game. But Kobe's Rockets actually ended up getting it done. They won by 12 in game seven. And now we'll jump into the Simcast for Kings Jazz. And it looks like Sacramento is going to get the job done as well. So both Kobe and Bron are going to make it to the second round. This is probably the most success that we've seen from all of our guys in the playoffs all at once, if that makes sense. MJ's Wizards are going to be taking on the Hornets here in round two. That Hornets team looks good. The Kings are going to be taking on the Spurs led by Wemby. They've got Bronny, AJ DeBonsta, a tough Spurs team for sure. And the Rockets will be taking on the Pelicans. Oh my gosh, the Pelicans are stacked. They also have Cooper Flag on their team who's coming off the bench. The Kings are going to lose in five to the Spurs. And it looks like the Rockets are headed to a game seven against the Pelicans. And in game seven, it's going to be the Pels coming out on top. Sorry, Kobe. But we do have one more game seven. It's between Washington and Charlotte. Let's see if Mike can make his way to the conference finals. The Wizards lost 38, 10, and 6 from MJ, but it won't be enough. And the Pels go on to win the chip led by Cooper Flag. We are about to head into year seven with all of these great all-time players in the league. And not one of them has won an NBA championship. Mike's Wizards look good. I think MJ should be in a position to contend once again. Bronze Kings, they're okay. LeBron's probably going to have to carry. And the Rockets, man, this team is ridiculous. Kobe, you should definitely be able to go out there and win a chip. This team is insane. That Another season in the books. There goes Luka winning MVP. I feel like we haven't seen him win as many MVPs as usual in this video. LeBron wins DPOY. 
That's three DPOYs for LeBron, by the way. James and Jordan were on the All-NBA first team. MJ averaged about 25 a night. Kobe, man, still no All-NBA. Kobe's Rockets won 49 games. This Kobe averaged about 20 a night. Maybe Kobe just needs to get out of Houston once his contract is up or something so he can get some more shine. This team just has too much talent for him to do a lot individually, but for some reason, they're also not winning basketball games, so it's just not working out so far for Kobe. Over in Washington, they won 50 games, another good season for them them and the Kings 37 wins on the year missing out on the play-in tournament so Mike and Kobe are going to be competing in the playoffs this year Bron is watching from the couch now Kobe's going to be watching from the couch too as the Rockets lose in five but Mike is headed to a game seven against the Heat in round one the Heat have Bam and Giannis and the Washington Wizards are going to destroy the Heat in Game 7, 25 from MJ. Next up, the Wizards are going to be taking on Toronto. Raptors still look good, man. Toronto's been nice in the past couple simulations. They're up 3-1 to one on the Wizards here, and they beat them in 5. All of our players are ringless, man. This is crazy. No MVPs for anybody either. Like, these guys are really disappointing me so far. But there's still plenty of time for them to pick it up. The Wizards are continuing continuing to get better so Mike should still be on a contender the Kings are actually getting a little bit better so maybe Bron can start competing even if he can he'll have the chance to leave the team next summer if he wants to and Kobe's Rockets look good as usual they just got to get over the hump and start winning I don't know what the issue is for that team they've been good for quite some time but they've just never been able to make a ton of noise in the NBA playoffs Man, this video has basically just become Wembenyama's simulation. He wins MVP again. LeBron wins DPOY. James is on first team. Kobe finally made All-NBA, and this year he's on first team, averaging 26 points and 8 assists. Finally, Kobe's putting it all together. MJ makes All-NBA second team this year, averaging about 23 and 8. James and Jordan are on all-defensive first team as usual. And Kobe's Rockets won 50 games, making them the four seed in the West. The Wizards won 64 games. They were the one seed in the East, and the Kings were a play-in team. Sacramento did end up making their way into the playoffs as the eighth seed. And speaking of eight seeds, the eight-seeded Bulls just beat the one-seeded Wizards. Come on, MJ. Also, the eight-seeded Kings are going to lose to the Pels. But Kobe's Rockets will advance to the second round. So they're the only team remaining here as they're going to be taking on the Pelicans. The Rockets starting five looks scary, man. I think they're going to be tough to stop in the playoffs. They're up 3-1 to one on the Pels. Pels will win game five and six. Kobe, don't blow a 3-1 to one lead. All right, the Rockets are up pretty big headed into the fourth quarter. It looks like they got this one. They're going to move on. Bryant, 38-9-12. Well, that's what I'm talking about, Kobe. That's what I like to see. Next up, the Rockets will be taking on the Mavs, who are insane. Luka versus Kobe here. Early on, we're tied up at one apiece. Mavs will win game three and four, and we lost in five. I thought this was going to be the year Kobe won a chip. The Rockets were doing so well, but they lost to the eventual champion Mavericks. Also, LeBron signed an extension with the Kings. I was talking about his free agency last year, but he did not want to become a free agent. Kobe's on the last year of his deal with the Rockets, and Mike has three more years left on his deal with the Wizards. I can understand why Michael Jordan re-signed with the Wizards. They've been a great regular season team, but I don't really understand why Bron went back to the Kings. They haven't been good as of late. Also, Kobe being on the last year of his deal is surprising. The Rockets have a good squad, but they haven't been able to win a title, so maybe he wants to go elsewhere. Season is wrapped. Luka Doncic wins MVP. LeBron another DPOY Michael Jordan makes second team Braun makes first team here were MJ's numbers for this year and Kobe ends up making third team checking out the standings the Rockets made the play in winning 45 games oh my gosh the Mavs won 70 games the Wizards made the playoffs with 55 wins they've been really good as of late and the Kings they're in the play in tournament as the nine seed they will make it into the playoffs so all three of our guys are in the postseason. We'll see how far they can make it. Sacramento's going to lose in six in the first round. The Wizards beat the Nets in five. And Kobe's headed to a game seven against Wen Ben Yama. Here we go, man. The Spurs look nice. This is going to be a tough matchup here. And it looks like Wemby Spurs are going to win. Only 18 from Kobe in game seven. 
So Michael Jordan is the last player remaining in these playoffs. He's taking on the Magic in the second round. And Mike's Wizards are going to make the conference finals. Okay, MJ, they're taking on the Bulls here. And this Wizards team looks way better than that Chicago team. So they might just be able to win it. They're tied up at two apiece headed into game five. Wizards win game five and the Bulls win game six. Setting up a winner go home game seven here. MJ season is on the line. A finals trip for the Wizards is on the line. And despite all of that, Michael Jordan still lost. 37 from MJ, but it's not going to be enough. Also, I was talking about Kobe's free agency last offseason. Season. He ended up signing a new deal with the Rockets. This team is stacked, so I see why he re-upped on a new contract. It just seems like so far, the simulation is not going in these guys' favor at all. I mean, we're headed into year 10, and everyone is ringless, which is crazy to say. No MVPs for anybody, nothing at all. The biggest accolade we've really seen anybody receive is when LeBron won that finals MVP despite losing in the NBA finals. Kobe, Bron, MJ, y'all gotta lock in. I guess LeBron got the memo. He went out there and won an MVP for the Sacramento Kings. That's what I'm talking about, Bron. He also wins DPOY this season. James is named to first team. MJ is named to the second team. And Kobe Bryant doesn't make all NBA. The Kings were a playing team. And Bron somehow still ended up winning the MVP. The Rockets are in the playoffs with 48 wins. And the Wizards kind of fell off. Only 47 wins. I mean, they still made the playoffs. But I expected a little bit better from Washington. Anyways, the Wizards do go ahead and beat the Bucks in the first round, winning in five games. The Rockets beat the Spurs in six, and the Kings are in trouble against the Mavs. They lost in six. So Mike and Kobe will advance to the second round. The Wizards are going to be taking on the Miami Heat here, and the Rockets are going to be taking on the Pels. I feel like LeBron and Kobe have faced the Pels so many times in this video, but the Rockets are kind of cooking against New Orleans. They're up three to one, and they end up beating the Pels in six. Also, the Wizards made easy work of Miami, winning in five. Now Washington's going to have to take down Philadelphia. Out West, the Rockets are going to have to take down the Mavs. The Rockets got swept, but it looks like the Wizards are going to make their way to the finals unless they blow a 3-1. Come on, MJ, please don't do this. Mike blew a 3-1, bro. Come on. Jordan only 17 points. Are you serious? And the Mavs go on to win the chip. Here's what the Wizards are looking like heading into another season. The Kings look pretty much the same. And also the Rockets look pretty much the same. Nobody really did too much to change up their squads as we head into season number 11. Season is wrapped. Cam Boozer wins the MVP award. LeBron, another DPOY. They should really just rename it to the LeBron James Award. Bron makes All-NBA first team alongside Mike. And no All-NBA for our guy Kobe, man. This season, Kobe's Rockets won 50 games, making them the number four seed in the West as Kobe averaged about 21 a night. The Wizards won 49 games, making them the three seed in the East. And then the Kings won 48 games, which means that we will be getting a Rockets versus Kings matchup in round number one. LeBron versus Kobe facing off in the NBA playoffs. I am so ready for this. Game one of the series will go to the Rockets. The Rockets also win game two. Kings will finally get a win in game three, but the Rockets take game four and ultimately take care of the Kings in five games. Out east, the Wizards easily took care of the Orlando Magic in a sweep. So Washington will be moving on to face the New York Knicks, led by Rob Dillingham and Ace Bailey. And the Rockets are going to be facing the Dallas Mavericks, who have an older Luka Doncic. Early on, both our guys are struggling. They're down 3-0. to zero. The Wizards will get swept, and so will the Rockets. Are you kidding me? But this summer is about to be crazy. Michael Jordan and LeBron James are becoming unrestricted restricted free agents. Finally, they can leave their teams. They've never been able to win a championship on their squads. It's time to go, man. And Mike is ready to go. He's got a plethora of max offers on the table, and it looks like he's going to head to the Blazers. As for LeBron James, he's going to Minnesota. A change of scenery might be exactly what both of our guys need. But let's see what the Blazers and T-Wolves are looking like. I really hope that LeBron and Jordan didn't just join some trash team. 
games. The T-Wolves have Darren Peterson, Dyson Daniels, and this young guard named Boris Lynch who looks really good. He was a first overall pick. He's already an 87 overall headed into his third season. Yeah, this T-Wolves squad's pretty nice. And then as for the Blazers, they've got Scoot and Buzelli's. Okay, I think we're cooking here. All three of our guys are on teams that I think are contenders. This is the most excited I've been for Mike, Kobe, and Bron in a minute. Let's get into this season. Season is wrapped, and LeBron James is apparently excited to be in Minnesota. He won MVP this year, of course. He won DPOY as well. Bron makes first team, and Mike and Kobe didn't make all NBA at all. Jordan was on all defense he averaged about 22 points per night which is a career low for MJ Mike's Blazers won 44 games not bad the Rockets won 43 games making them a play-in team Kobe's just been kind of underwhelming in this simulation with all due respect but LeBron and the T-Wolves they were on a mission this year they won 66 games making them the number one seed in the Western Conference now Mike LeBron and Kobe are all in the same conference right now they're all in the nba playoffs so this year's postseason could be pretty crazy okay never mind the blazers and rockets lost in the first round lebron james will be moving on to round two with the t wolves kobe lost in game seven to the pels they got blown out kobe tried his best but it wasn't enough so lebron is the last out of our three guys who's still out there hooping with a really good minnesota team now he's going to be taking on a stacked spurs squad with tyron stokes and victor Wembenyama so this is definitely going to be a challenge game one will go to the T-Wolves they also win game two. Oh my gosh LeBron's on a mission hold on man he's moving on to the conference finals to take on the Mavs they still have Luka retire old man matter of fact Bron's about to send you into retirement okay never mind we're down 2-0 early we're down 3-1 to oh my gosh we're gonna win game five and six all right Bron 3-1 come back to make the finals let's do it well the Timberwolves lost Alexander Saar wins West Western Conference Finals MVP and Luka drops off LeBron. How old is Luka at this point, man? He's 37. Bronny? Uh, oh, it was Bry Bryce is on the team. LeBron, you lost to your Lasan. Nine points? Oh, it's over, bro. It's so over. Oh, my goodness. The Mavs go on to win the chip. Nine points in Game 7, LeBron. Well, we've got another season coming up. We'll have to see how one of these players can crush my hopes and dreams this season. Season is wrapped. LeBron James wins another MVP. He averaged less than 20 a night this year, which was a career low, and somehow still ended up winning the MVP award. So congrats to Bron, I guess. Mike and Kobe didn't make all NBA. Jordan's Blazers only won 44 games on the year. Mike averaged less than 20 a night. But Kobe's Rockets did win 51 games. They were really good. They ended up as the number three seed. Kobe averaged about 21. The Blazers are not going to make the playoffs. They lost in the play-in. But Minnesota and Houston are here. In round number one, the T-Wolves are taking on the Lakers. And, and the Rockets are taking on the Jazz. And it looks like the Rockets are headed to a game seven against Utah. Come on, Kobe, man. This Jazz team sucks. Also, Bron's going to be in a Game 7. We'll check that out in a second. In the meantime, let's jump in the SimCast for Game 7, Rockets versus Jazz. Here we go, man. Come on, Kobe. You're up in the fourth, and it looks like Kobe and the Rockets will get the win. Bryant, 29 points and 15 assists. That's what I'm talking about. Now the Timberwolves are going to be taking on the Lakers. LeBron James looking to get past Hallie, Ron Holland, and Koa Pete. Bro, Halliburton has to be like 100 years old at this point. Let us get this win. And also, LeBron, if you lose to an eight seed, that's insane it looks like game seven's gonna come down to the wire so we might as well jump in it's a four point game about a minute to go here Sheridan is inbounding the ball he's gonna give it into LeBron James James is defended by Koa Pete let's see what you got Bron the league MVP trying not to lose in the first round James oh my gosh bro he just got absolutely rejected now Foster has the ball Foster up to Pete Pete gonna spin off of Bron put up a layup good defense LeBron and we're gonna get the rebound Aiden Sheridan is 
going to the foul line. Oh, wait, no, he isn't. We're not in the bonus yet. Now the ball is going to go into Lynch. Lynch is defended by Halley. Lynch going to swing it over to Peterson. Peterson attacking the basket, gives it back out to Lynch. And now the Lakers are going to intentionally foul. I have no idea who this guy is, but I hope he can make free throws. First one is good. Second one for Lynch is also good, giving us a six-point lead. As long as you don't let up a three here, we should be good to go. Tyrese Halliburton bringing up the ball. Halley's attacking the basket. He swings it to Pete, who gets a layup to go. Still plenty of time for the Lakers. They're within four. We're going to need some clutch free throw shooting from Peterson. Darren Peterson at the line. First one is good. Second one for Darren is also good. And the Lakers will use their last timeout. Just do not give up a bucket here, and we're in the clear. We'll move on to round two. Ron Holland is inbound in the basketball. He's going to give it into Tyrese Halliburton. Halley working at the foul line here. He's good defense. Layup goes up. He misses. Flipkowski the rebound. He misses. Gets another rebound and dunks it. I don't think that two is really moving the needle, though. We're going to get the win here. LeBron James, 23 points. And the Timberwolves will just barely move on to round two. They'll be taking on the Denver Knicks nuggets oh the nuggets have ant man that's going to be a tough series and the rockets are going to be taking on the pels the pels still have cooper flag they've also got jacoby walter and they've got kadeen malach that's a tough scene for sure. Oh my gosh, man. The Rockets are cooked. They got swept. It looks like the Timberwolves are about to sweep the Nuggets though. Oh, the Nuggets will get a game, but the Timberwolves end up winning in five. So they advance to the conference finals against the New Orleans Pelicans. LeBron, this Pels team is tough. You definitely got a challenge ahead of you. Let's see if the T-Wolves can win. Game one will go to New Orleans. They also win game two and three. Oh my gosh, bro. Come on, Bron. Let's come back. All right, we're going to win two games. Oh my goodness, LeBron might just come back from down three to zero. We're headed to a game seven here. And this game is going back and forth, headed into the final quarter. We've got a four-point game, about a minute 30 left. We got to jump in. Chance to make the finals for LeBron. LeBron James. Nikola Jovic going to give it into LeBron. James is defended by Cooper Flag. LeBron gives it over to Lynch. Lynch is going to get the screen here. Lynch swings it to Sanders who shoots a three and he knocks it down. Big shot to put us within one. Now Cooper Flag's bringing it up for the Pels. They're looking for an answer. Their lead just shrunk to a point. Flag's going to get the screen up top. Cooper has a lane and he's going to dunk it home. Now we are down by three. Lynch is bringing up the ball. Lynch is going to get the screen from Nikola Jovic. And Lynch has some room for three. He misses. Oh, my gosh. Now Mack has the ball for the Pels. He gives it to Flag. Please let us stop Cooper Flag. Now it goes to Malachi. He goes to the basket. And he's Oh, he isn't fouled. We actually got the block there. They stopped playing. I thought it was a foul. Lynch going to give it up to Sanders. He shoots and makes it. Oh, my goodness. We're within one. Cooper Flag bringing up the ball for the Pelicans. We're only down by a point. No need to foul. Just get a stop here, Bron. Flag going to spin. Fake a couple times. LeBron gets the steal. James up to Lynch Lynch go all the way and he's gonna dunk it home we're up by a point great play here in the clutch from your Minnesota Timberwolves we've got a one point lead Denny of Dia gonna give it into Cooper flag flag is defended by Jovic he's gonna get the screen Cooper attacks the basket oh my gosh bro he's pulling off dunk contest dunks in a game seven trip to the finals on the line all right Baron here we go 18 seconds left down by a point what do you have in you Phillips gonna give it into James James defended by Avdia LeBron's gonna wait around for a second now he's making his move oh no he isn't he walks it back out to the logo all right Bron you might want to do something you're just standing there all right here he goes LeBron attacking the basket here gonna fake he puts up a tough shot oh my gosh bro that's the shot that's the shot we lost Cooper Flag's dunk destroyed my hopes and dreams, and we're going to lose. The Pelicans have been insane in this video, man. LeBron, 26, 8, and 9 in this one, but it's not enough. Your T-Wolves have been eliminated. The Pels went on to win the chip, and after that disappointing loss from Bron, Kobe Bryant is set to hit free agency for the Houston Rockets. Let's see if Kobe's ready to leave his team. LeBron and Mike both left the teams that drafted them. We'll see if Kobe's going to follow suit. No, he's going to remain loyal to Houston. Never mind, Bryant changed his mind. He's headed to Indiana. I'm not mad at it. Bryant was unable to win a ring with the Rockets, so now he's choosing a new destination. And over in Indiana, they got this dude named Maladin Toraman. 
He's 22 years old, 92 overall. They've also got an old Ja Morant, but they've got some other good young guys like Jay Norris and Greg Green. LeBron's T will still look solid. They're trying to get back to the conference finals and make things right this time. And the Blazers still look pretty good as well. I think all three of our guys are on solid teams. They should be in a position to at least all make the playoffs. Season is wrapped. Alexander Saar wins MVP. Wemben Yama wins DPOY. No DPOY for LeBron this year. He's on all NBA second team at 32 years old. Is the fall off already starting for LeBron James? He still makes all defense. Mike is demoted to all defensive second team. Come on now, old man, lock in. But who I'm really curious about is Kobe. Brian ended up making the play in tournament with the Pacers, averaging less than 20 PPG for the first time since his rookie year. So it wasn't too crazy of a year in Indiana at all. Also, Mike's Blazers are in the play-in tournament over in the Western Conference and LeBron's Timberwolves were elite. They were the number one seed. So let's go ahead and simulate the play-in. The Pacers lost, but the Blazers are going to make it into the first round of the playoffs. But the Blazers lost in the first round. The Timberwolves are going to move on to the second round where they're taking on the Clippers and they lose to the Clippers. LeBron, 32-6-6 and in game five. It won't be enough. And this summer, both LeBron and Jordan will be hit free agency all right it looks like they'll have a chance to potentially leave their team lebron is looking at the big apple and mike is looking at going to the mavs if the mavs still have alexander Saar and they get mike that might be a chance for mj to win a ring and lebron is going back to the timberwolves mike is going to the mavericks and they kept alexander Saar. hold on man we might finally see one of our guys win a championship i don't want to speak speak too soon or anything but Alexander Saar is coming off of an MVP season for the Dallas Mavericks and now you pair him up with MJ MJ is getting a little bit older he's starting to regress but still meanwhile the Pacers see their guy Mulotting going up in overall and the Timberwolves are still the Timberwolves they were great last year in the regular season we'll see if they can actually be good in the playoffs because last year they lost in round two but the team I'm really excited about is that Mavs team with the addition of Michael Jordan. Season is wrapped. Another MVP for LeBron James. LeBron also won DPOY. Kobe made all NBA this season. He was on third team, averaging about 22 a night. And this year, both the Mavs and Timberwolves were elite. The Mavs ended up winning 65 games. The Timberwolves won 68. Michael Jordan was out there hooping for the Dallas Mavericks alongside Alexander Saar. They were a great one-two punch. And guess what? Over in the East, Kobe and the Pacers were making some noise. Please, this has to be the year one of our guys wins a championship. In round number one, the Timberwolves somehow win seven with the Denver Nuggets, but they did end up winning. The Mavericks end up sweeping the Spurs. The Pacers sweep the Sixers. So all of our guys are still hooping in round two of the NBA playoffs. And it looks like Mike and Braun are going to make it to the conference finals. They're going to be facing each other. And Kobe is headed to a game seven against Chicago. Come on, Kobe. You got to lead your Pacers to the NBA finals. Winning this second round series would be a step in the right direction for trying to help the Pacers make the finals. And it looks like Kobe will get the dub in game seven. He's moving on to the conference finals. Mike and Braun are facing off over in the West. Oh, this is about to be crazy. Minnesota versus Dallas here. I'm ready for this one. And then over in the East, we've got Indiana taking on Miami. And I think the Pacers are low-key better than the Miami Heat. So Kobe might just make it to the NBA Finals. We'll see how it goes. Oh no, Kobe's down 3-1. to one. The Pacers lost in 5. Meanwhile, the T-Wolves are up 3-2 to two on the Mavs. And they're going to win in 6. LeBron eliminates Jordan to advance to the NBA Finals. Come on, LeBron. This has to be your year. This Heat team, it isn't too crazy. This was your MVP season. Miami's going to win game one and two and three. Oh my gosh, bro. We're finally going to get a winning game four, but we lose in five. LeBron James loses in the finals once again. I don't even have any hope for any of our guys winning a championship at this point. It's been so many years and, and nobody can do it, bro. Kobe's still on a really good Pacers team. Bron is on a good T-Wolves team. And Mike, he's 
on a good Mavs team, but they're pretty old. So we'll see how this year goes. LeBron James, another MVP. And I have to admit, LeBron James has built up a pretty crazy resume outside of the championships, you know? He's won five MVPs and 10 DPOYs. You know how much a chip would help out that resume, Bron? He won another DPOY, congrats, I guess. And Mike won Clutch Player of the Year this season for the Dallas Mavericks. The Mavs were doing really well. I'm gonna show y'all their record. They ended up winning 59 games on the season with Mike and Alexander Saar. They also ended up picking up a Saar Thompson on a minimum. Great addition to their team. The Pacers were absolutely elite over in the Eastern Conference, winning 60 games and ending off the season on a 10 game win streak. And the Timberwolves won 67 games. So no way one of our guys doesn't win the championship, right? I mean, that would be impossible. Okay, well, the Mavs lost in round one. They got upset by the Memphis Grizzlies, but the Timberwolves are still hooping and so are the Indiana Pacers. All right, it looks like the T-Wolves are gonna make it out of round two. Indiana's gonna make it as well. All right, we're here in the conference finals. Come on, let the Pacers and the Timberwolves win so we get a Kobe versus Braun finals. Then we're guaranteed to see one of our guys win a championship. The Pacers are eliminated. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh my gosh. 2K's got to be trolling. And now the regression is starting to hit for Mike and Kobe. I mean, Mike's been regressing, but now he's below a 90 overall. Kobe Bryant is down to a 95. Bron is still holding strong at a 97, but these guys are headed into year 17 at this point, and they're all ringless. Another season in the books, Cam Boozer wins MVP. This year, LeBron was on third team alongside Kobe. Bron went from winning MVP to being on all NBA third team that's crazy the Pacers won 62 games making them the one seed in the east the T-Wolves were the one seed in the west with 64 wins and the Mavs were the two seed in the west with 62 wins all these guys were absolutely elite their teams did great things hopefully this can finally be the year all of our players made it out of round number one round two they all did the same okay so we've got Minnesota versus Dallas in the conference finals. LeBron versus Jordan, right? And then in the East, it's going to be Indiana versus Miami. Come on, Kobe. Get past this Miami team and make it to the finals. The Timberwolves are up 3-1 to one on the Mavs, but unfortunately, the Heat are up 3-1 to one on the Pacers. Pacers will win game five, but they lose in six. Meanwhile, in the Western Conference, the Mavs ended up winning game five, but they lost in six. So LeBron is in the finals, taking on the Heat. Come on, Bron, get this championship. You've lost in the finals way too many times. Game number one will go to the T-Wolves. They win game two and three. Oh my goodness, LeBron James. He wins the finals MVP. My sunshine won an NBA championship. Man, finally somebody won a chip. Shout out to Bron. Also this summer, both Kobe and MJ are hitting free agency. And honestly, I'm starting to wonder how many more seasons Mike is gonna play. He's getting pretty old. And at this point, all of our guys have played 17 years, which is a lot. It looks like Kobe is gonna return to the Pacers. As for MJ, it looks like he's also going back to the Mavs, unless they change their minds. Nope, it looks like Kobe stood pat with the Pacers and MJ did the same with the Mavs. Jordan is down to an 86 overall at 37 years old. Kobe's down to a 93 at 34, and LeBron's even regressing too. He's down to a 95. Season is wrapped. Cam Boozer wins MVP. LeBron James wins a DPOY at 36 years old. Nice job, old man. LeBron also made all NBA first team. No all NBA for Mike or Kobe, though. Mike's Mavs ended up winning 50 games. Bron's T Wolves won 60 games. And Kobe's Pacers won 59 games. So again, all of our players' teams were really good. And everybody made it out of round one. LeBron's gonna make it out of round two. It looks like Mike will lose in the second round. But Kobe is gonna advance to the conference finals. Here we go, man. Let's see if we can get a Bron versus Kobe finals before this video ends. Bron's T-Wolves are up 3-0. They're gonna sweep the Memphis Grizzlies. Pacers are down 3-2. They lost in six. Oh my goodness. LeBron back in the NBA finals, taking on the Heat once once again game one goes to Miami they also win game two T wolves will win game three and four they're also going to win game five and the Heat will win game six setting up a winner go home game seven here LeBron James has a chance to repeat 
And LeBron is going to do exactly that. 29, 5, and 5 to lead the way for the T-Wolves. Caleb Wilson wins finals MVP over James. I thought for sure LeBron was going to win that finals MVP. But regardless, LeBron goes for two championships in a row late in his NBA career. And Bron's Timberwolves still look really good. So they might be able to go for the three-peat. Mike's Mavs are looking rough, man. They're getting old. And the Pacers are also getting a little old, but they have Maladin, who's really good. So we'll see how this season goes. I think the T-Wolves could get that three-peat. Maladin Tournament wins MVP. That's Kobe's teammate. Congrats to him. Bron wins another DPOY. James was also named to All-NBA second team. Bron's Timberwolves won 58 games, making them the one seed. The Mavs fell off, only winning 42 games. Where's MJ? Oh my gosh, the Mavs traded Mike. They traded him to the Memphis Grizzlies, and the Grizz are the three seed? This might just be a really good opportunity for MJ. He's coming off the bench. He had a career low in scoring, but hey, he can still contribute to a championship team. Heading over to the East, the Indiana Pacers won 57 games, and Kobe Bryant averaged about 19 a night. In round number one, the T-Wolves lost in seven to the Pels. You've got to be kidding me, Bron. You just lost to the eighth seed. The Grizz end up losing to the six seeded Nuggets as Michael Jordan goes down and he's still not talking about retirement I thought Mike might be ready to retire at 39 but at this point the only team left in the NBA playoffs is the Indiana Pacers at least out of our three teams obviously they're not the only team left or they'd be champions right but the Pacers are going to be taking on the New York Knicks in round number two and the Pacers sweep them come on Indiana let's get to the finals the Pacers are in the finals Kobe with a chance to win a championship. Come on. Let's see it, Kobe Bryant. Game one will go to Indiana. Nuggets win game two. Pacers win game three and four. The Pacers are champions. Maladin Toriman wins finals MVP. But Kobe Bryant was still a big contributor for Indiana in year 19. Shout out to Kobe, man, winning a championship. And at the end of the year, LeBron called it quits. I did not expect Bron to be the first one to retire, but he is. LeBron James has left the game. James ended up with two chips, five MVPs, two finals MVPs, 18 all-star appearances, 15 all-NBA first team appearances, two all-NBA second team appearances, and LeBron also won 12 defensive player of the years. Also, James finished fourth all-time in scoring with over 36,000 and points fifth in field goals made and eighth in assist he also finished third in steals and 13th in blocks he was also fourth in minutes and fifth in turnovers that wraps it up for lebron's career but now we got to keep it pushing until kobe and jordan retire jordan is a free agent this summer and he wants a lot of money honestly i'm not sure if this man is gonna find a job he was asking for like 38 million or something crazy and he's an 83 overall and on the final day of free agency he doesn't have a deal meanwhile kobe bryant is down to an 88 overall on the indiana pacers and i'm gonna simulate to the start of the season and see if anybody ends up signing Mike. Nobody is signed to MJ and he is down to a 79 overall. Mike might just end off his career sitting in free agency. I will check back to see if anybody signed him by the end of the season, but for now, he is not on the team. We'll see how Kobe does with the Pacers though. Season is wrapped. Kobe's teammate Maladin wins another MVP. We do not see Kobe or Mike on all NBA, but Bryant was still hooping in year 20, averaging about 21 a night as the Indiana Pacers Pacers were the two seed and Bryant is still not talking about retirement and I do want to check on Michael Jordan see what's going on with him nobody signed Mike he's gonna end his career as a free agent are you kidding me well let's at least watch this playoff run for the Indiana Pacers round one they're taking on Washington oh my gosh they just blew like a 3-0 or a 3-1 or some good numbers for Kobe unfortunately the Pacers are gonna lose in round one coming off the NBA championship disappointing and at the end of the season Michael Jordan decided to call it a career and his career was nowhere near as good as his real life career he made 16 all-star teams two all-nba first teams seven all-nba second teams two all-nba third teams 13 all-defensive first teams and three all-defensive second teams Mike finished sixth all-time in points 
third in field goals made, seventh in free throws made, and second in steals. He also was 10th in minutes and fourth in turnovers. That's it for MJ's career. Now we just got to finish it off Kobe Bryant's NBA career. See if he can win maybe one more chip before he ends up retiring. Bryant is down to an 85 overall, so there's going to be a lot on Mladen's shoulders if the Pacers want to compete. Another season in the books. Mladen might just be the greatest basketball player of all time, bro. Pacers won 58 games. Kobe averaged about 17 a night in year 21. Round number one, the Pacers will be taking on the Boston Celtics, and they're going to lose. You've got to be kidding me, man. Two seed losing to the seven seed. And even after playing 21 seasons in the NBA, Kobe is not ready to retire. Bryant is down to an 81 overall. But as long as Mladen's on the team, I think the Pacers should still be able to compete. Year 22 of Kobe Bryant's NBA career is about to come to a close, and he says he's ready to retire. And what's crazy is the Indiana Pacers had an elite season once again. Even with old Kobe in the lineup, they were still able to do some big things. They were the number number one seed in the Eastern Conference as Mladen won another MVP. He has been absolutely great in this simulation. Kobe Bryant ended up averaging 16 and a half points per night. Really good for an 81 overall. And in round number one, we're going to be taking on the Atlanta Hawks. We're up three to two on them. They're going to force seven and we beat them. All right, we're moving on to the second round. Kobe Bryant had 19 in game seven. Good stuff. We beat them by 40. Next up, it's going to be the Sixers. We're down three to one. We're going to win game five and six. Come on, let's just get them out of here. Ah, we lost in seven. We ended up losing pretty bad. We lost by nine. 19 points as Kobe Bryant had eight points in his final game, but overall a really good final playoff run for Kobe Bryant. And now Kobe has left the game at 39 years old. Bryant won one championship, made 15 all-star appearances, made one all-NBA first team appearance, three all-NBA's third team appearances, and he also made the all-rookie first team. Bryant finished third all-time in scoring with over 37,000 points. He was sixth in field goals made, seventh in free throws made and he even finished 13th in assist he was also number one all time in minutes that's it for the video if you enjoyed be sure to like and subscribe have a great day and i'll see you guys in the next one peace